Like we're almost done. You boys have been terrific helping me fix this engine. Thanks for letting us help, Mom. A good fixer-upper can always use a couple extra tires, honey. Okay, it's time to put this engine back, and I'm going to use my brand new winch to do it. Here it comes. I feel fantastic, Holly. Well, I couldn't have done it without my assistance. Thanks, boys. You're welcome. No problem. Sure. It was fun. Come on. I'll ride back to the diner with you. Can I count on my assistance to help clean up? You bet, Mom. Did you hear that? That truck is running again because we helped. Yeah! Chuck, you better put the brakes on a little, old buddy. Oh, relax, Biggs. We're the best assistants ever. She's gonna blow a gasket! Or three, or four. Oh no, oh no! I can't believe I... How can I help? When Mom finds out, she's gonna... What if my mom doesn't find out? Well, how would that happen? Well, the parts yard has just about everything in it, right? So there's probably a winch in there we could bring back in place of this one. Then my mom would never know I did anything wrong. Won't it look different from this one, Chuck? If it does, we'll paint it or whatever to make it look the same. Now, come on. Okay, Boomer, start the truck lift. Now use your ladders to sweep it into Rowdy's bed. Now let's get to the parts yard. <laughs> Uh, it's your mom. She's coming back. She'll see the winch isn't here. <gasps> okay, helpful assistants. How did we do cleaning up the... Oh, wow, Mom. Uh, helping you out sure made us hungry. Can we have some lunch? After all your hard work, you certainly deserve it. I'll run down to the diner and come back and get you when it's ready. See you in a few minutes. You heard her. We only have a few minutes. Let's go! Did anybody have any luck finding a winch? I sure didn't. I found some biscuits. I found a phone book. And, and I found a mattress. It's pretty comfy, actually. Uh, but no winch. If you put all this stuff together, it wouldn't add up to a winch. <laughs> That's it! What's it? Where's it? Maybe there's no winch in the parts yard, but there's got to be stuff here that when we put it together, can look like a winch. Chuck, maybe we should just tell your mom what happened. Boomer, we can still make this work, but we have to hurry. The way I figure it, we need three things. A metal box, a long metal arm, and a hook to hang from it. Come on! Does anyone see anything that might help us? Anything at all? Like a long pole that could be used as a metal arm? Exactly! Something just like that! Wahoo! I done found one! 
great work, Biggs. But how are we going to get it all the way out there? And all that mud and goop? <gasps> mud and goop! This looks like a job for Rowdy! Mud's too deep for me to roll out. Uh, how are we gonna get Rowdy and the pole out of there? And fast. You're the guy who can help us build the answer, Boomer. Huh? I am? Uh, Rowdy, I know you like mud, but you can't stay in there forever. Uh, Great. Now we just need a hook and a metal box. Over there! Boomer, can you use your ladders to grab it? Uh, I'd be too nervous trying to grab something so far away. Look how that box is almost falling over. If I knocked it over, it, it could get dented. Then we couldn't use it. So how do we get to it? Hmm. We do it with the ends of your horns, Biggs. Boomer's ladders are too big for the job but your horns are small enough to pick out all the parts around the box so we can get it. Go for it. That's it. This ain't so hard. Biggs, slow down or you're... Ah, yeah. Oh, no! But ain't it cool? Now all we need is a hook, and we're done. And we need it right away. How do we get all the way up there to get that? Wait till we're older and taller? It'd be easy if that were a normal hill. We could just roll up there and get it. But this pile would fall right over if we did that. But you guys won't fall over if I try to climb you. Uh huh? Guys. We need to find some wood planks so we can build a ramp. Sorry, Biggs. I know I'm heavy. No sweat, buddy. I'm rough and tough. Good work, guys. Almost there. Okay, Boomer, lift me up. There. Please hurry and get that hook. Your mom will be back at the repair center soon. Okay. I'm just gonna nudge the pile so it falls into my bed. We did it! <laughs> I can't believe we got back here before your mom chat. Hurry up and bring the winch in. How does it look? Well, it looks like a winch. Kinda, sorta, if you look at it in the right light and squint. Well, it's the best we could do. Let's get it in place. Who's hungry? I've got a great big lunch waiting for you boys back at the diner. Gee, <laughs> thanks, Mom. While you're eating, I think I'll clean up the new winch from this morning's repair. Let me just turn it on. <gasps> oh, no! How could this have happened? My brand new winch, I liked it so much. I broke your winch, Mom. You did? It was an accident. I was messing around, and I didn't want you to know. Well, you know better than to mess around in here, Chuck. And I'm disappointed you didn't tell me right away. But the important thing is, you did tell me. I'm really sorry, Mom. I know you are, honey. Now, where's my real winch? I don't believe it. I 
after all our work and sweat and... And mud! It would have just been easier to tell you everything right away. Mom, how can I make it up to you? Well, maybe you could help me with another repair? Yeah! Friends for the long haul! Since we want to keep the equipment neat, I think you better clean up first. Oh, <laughs> sure, Mom. When we come back in, we'll be spotless and we'll be very careful. Let's go, guys. Even me, Chuck? Especially you, Rowdy. Probably out bouncing around imagining stuff, like usual. Huh? Hey! Oh! Sorry, guys. I was just practicing some fender ball. Fender ball? What's fender ball? Only the best sport ever. After truck racing, that is. How do you play? One truck rolls the ball to another who bumps it as far as he can. Then the other trucks try to catch the ball and tag the bumper before he zooms around all the bases for a home run. Sounds fun! Let's play right now! Okay, but I have to warn you, I'm pretty good. Actually, I'm pretty great. Rally taught me everything he knows. Really? Yup, in fact, I'm probably going to be a star fender ball player and a champion truck racer when I get bigger. Well, Maybe we can all be star fender ball players. Let's go! Yeah. Actually pretty great, huh, Chuck? <laughs> uh, I just took my eye off it for a second. This next one's going to the moon. Yeah. Are you sure you're rolling it right? <laughs> I'm just rolling him. If you miss this next one, that's strike three, and someone else gets to try. Good one, Chuck. That's going really far. Looks like I'm out. Okay, Biggs, you're up. I'm ready. Here's a fast one. Try to bump this. I've got it. <laughs> Best bump I've ever seen. But then again, I've only played this game once. Hey, Chuck, nice try. If you were just a little bigger, you would have gotten me out for sure. Right. It's okay that you're better at Fender Ball than me. After all, you're bigger and older. Biggs is bigger, but Chuck, your birthday party was in the spring, and Biggs's isn't until the winter. See, that makes you older. You mean I'm older and smaller than you? Uh, it looks that way. Oh, hey guys, I have to go home for lunch. I'll see you later. Bye. Adios. See ya. I wish I was big like everyone else. Welcome home, son. You look bigger every time I see you. I guess I'm just a big guy, Mom. Hey, Chuck, welcome back. You're huge. Check out the size of these tires. I can't wait until I'm really big like you, Chuck. <sighs> it's good to be big. <sighs> yeah, it's good to be big. That's why I'm going to get big right now. Hey, Chuck, we were worried about you. Where have you been? <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> Boy, Chuck, 
You may not be as big as a grown-up, but you sure can put on the speed. Well, I'm planning on getting fast and big right now. Uh, okay. And I know that between your cool tools and your awesome gadgets, we'll be able to figure out a way to make me bigger. Are you in? Sure, but I never thought of you as Big Chuck or Little Chuck in the first place. Yeah, to us, you're just Chuck. But if there's a way to make you big, we'll find it. Friends for the long haul! What we need is a great idea. Does anyone have one? Well, I'm always taller when I put on my fat off-road tires. Look! Wow, those are great! But I don't have fat off-road tires, and I don't see any here to use. How about if we just give your regular tires a lot more air? That will make you bigger for sure. Great idea! Pump them up, Handy. Hey, it's working! I'm bigger! <laughs> Take a spin! I can see everything! Look! I can almost touch the sun! I'm Chuck the Giant! Huh? Going over that rock made your tire's air cap pop off. All the air came out. It's okay, Chuck. The rest of your tires are still big. Keep going! You've still got one big tire. I think we need to refill my tires and find another idea. Hey guys, come here a minute. Notice anything? You're on top of a hill? I'm on top of a hill, which makes me bigger. This is the answer. Wherever I go, I'll always stay on top of a hill. That's a good idea, Chuck, but... I'll just need to drive behind Handy at all times. He can build a hill, and I'll stay on top of it. I can do my best. Let's try it out. Oh. How's the view from way up there? Great! Keep going, Handy. Oh. Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> this is a good idea. But I think you'd need 100 of me to make it work. Maybe. And besides, I can't just dig up the ground everywhere I go. What if you have to go into the repair center? Or the diner? Or anywhere but here? I guess you're right. We're just going to have to think of something else. extra shiny paint. The more you shine, the bigger you'll look. I don't want to look bigger. I want to be bigger. Let's keep thinking. I know. We can blow up a bunch of balloons and put you on top of them. You'll be big and cool looking. And poppable. There's got to be a way. Hey, it's a flyer for the circus that came through here last week. That's it! Are you sure you want to try this? If the clown truck in the picture can do it, then so can I. Okay, let's go! <laughs> no one said being big was going to be easy. It's working! Good job! Great going, Chuck. Chuck! Is that my dad? Chuck! It sounds like he needs me. <laughs> Mom? Dad? What's wrong? Biggs is stuck. He went inside to find a part, and now he can't get out. You're the only one who can fit in there and help him. I'm the only one who can help him? I'm going in. Partner. I came in here looking for a chrome tailpipe, but as soon as I got in, bam, the axle dropped behind me. 
And darn if I ain't too big to turn around and move it. Don't worry, I can do it. <laughs> Wahoo! You did it, big buddy. I'm not big. Well, you are to me right now, partner. You wouldn't have been able to get him out of there without your help. I guess it is good to be a little guy sometimes, but I still can't wait to get big. Don't worry, you're only little for now, and you're growing up fast. Too fast, if you ask me. Aw. I just think, big or small, you're perfect the way you are. Hey, guys! Who's a free game of Fender Ball? Hey! Great idea! Great idea! I love Fender Ball! <laughs> hey, Holly, thanks a lot! <laughs> No. Want me to help and keep an eye out, Chuck? Mom! I can do it by myself, and I'm not Chuck right now. I'm Zoom Zoomerton, special agent of the Rocket Fast Spy Agency. Oh, sorry, honey. I mean, Zoom. No bad guys here. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I mean, helpful citizen. Careful citizen. Zoom Zoomerton goes. Action follow. We're evil bad guys, and we know you're here. Did you find him, Agent Rowdy? No, Agent Boomer. But look at this great banana peel. <laughs> Ew. That's a closer look than I wanted, Agent Rowdy. You guys are a lot better at finding junk than finding Zoom Zoomerton. Let's get him! <laughs> Whee! Zoom Zoomerton loves the feel of wind in his grip. Oh. You'll never get away, Zoom! <laughs> I shouldn't have loaded up that banana peel. You're getting thirsty on the road. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of other trucks to see to. Sure, sure. Ah. Sorry, mister. That's okay, little guy. A mini wheeler like you can't hurt a big old guy like me. Why, well, I've hauled some of the biggest loads you ever saw. Up snowy mountains. Down rainy valleys, Whoa. across the dusty plains. Whoa. I even... Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Great day for a drive, huh? <laughs> wow, I can't wait to haul a load like that. With nothing getting in my way. <laughs> it's gonna be a long time before you're ready for that kind of work, little guy. Son, I've got to get out to the parts yard to grab some steel beams. Semi Steve needs to be loaded up for a run. Oh, sure is busy around here today. I'll do it, Dad. I'll go get those beams and bring them back here to the diner. Uh, I don't know, Chuck. Rowdy and I saw those beams out in the parts yard. They look really heavy. And you know Semi Steve, Chuck. He's very serious about his schedule. I can do it. I promise. Like my older brother, Rally. The, the world's world famous monster racing truck. truck. Yeah, like he always says. Over, around, and through. Trucks go and see and do. Can we help carry the load, Chuck? No, I'm going to do this by myself. Chuck, 
This is very important. Are you sure you can have those beams back here on time? I can do it. I'll be right back with a heavy load. Chicha, are you sure you can do this alone? Of course I am. Just let me do some warm-up exercises. One, two, one, two, one, two. Chuck, it's too heavy. You better stop. No, I can do it. Oh. Thanks, Boomer. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to think of a different way to do this. You better do it fast, Chuck. That semi is waiting for you. I know you're in a hurry, Semi Steve. I'm sure Chuck will be back any minute. Are you still thinking, Chuck? Want me to go get you some garbage? What? Always makes me feel better. Thanks for wanting to help, Rowdy, but... I have an idea. Even if you guys just load the beams onto me, I'd still be the one doing the hauling. Like I said I would. Sounds like a plan. Feel them. It's gonna be easy to haul these back to the diner all by myself. I'll see you there. <gasps> the beams made you so heavy, you've sunk into the ground. Now what, Chuck? Semi Steve must be about ready to leave. You want those beams? Well, um. Wait, I think I just heard Chuck's horn. Almost there, Dad. Yep, that's him. Just give him another minute. <laughs> Thanks for helping out, Boomer. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ugh. You mean, now you can start getting somewhere. That's right. And I'm gonna get these beams to the diner in time, all by myself. Just like I promised. Chuck, you're not getting any closer to the diner. Uh, okay, okay. Watch this. <laughs> now watch how fast I'm gonna go, guys. Last one to the diner is a lemon. I'm no lemon. Me neither. Chuck? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do anything. Power and pickups. I've got it. I know what's been stopping me from getting this job done. The do-it-myself part. And I know just what we need to do. Semi Steve. Here's the beams for you. Ra 
Cody and I will load you up, Mr. Steve. Mr. Semi? Um, Mr. Steve-I? Thanks, Boomer. Thanks, Rowdy. Couldn't have done it without you. Bumpers up. Friends from the Long Haul! Dad, I'm sorry it took me so long. That's okay, Chuck. You made it in time and kept your promise. I'm proud of you. Thanks, but I almost didn't make it. And I didn't really do it all by myself, like I said I would. That's nothing to be ashamed of, Chuck. Everyone needs help once in a while. Sharing the load makes the work go faster, and it's more fun, too. Knowing you, I bet it was your idea to make that platform. <laughs> Bye, Semi-Steve! Bye, Semi-Steve! I saw you bring in that load, little guy. I didn't think you had it in you. Thanks! Once you grow into those wheels of yours, I bet you're gonna be bigger, stronger, and smarter than any dump truck out there. Wow! <laughs> That, sir. Hope I didn't give you any scratches or dings or... Elmer? Hi there, Porter. You don't look so... Good? Yeah, I know. Porter, have you seen the... Oh, oh I'm terribly... Uh, Holly, you remember Elmer? Sure. It's just I don't remember you being so... so... Weak and rusty? <laughs> yeah, I know. You'll never catch me, police car! That's what you think, getaway car. Uh, Elmer, this is our son Chuck and his friends Soku, Handy, and Digger. Porter, I didn't know you and Holly had another boy in the family. Well, it's been a while since you've been here. Chuck, Elmer was our truck stop's very first customer. Whoa! What was it like in the old days, Mr. Elmer? See, did they have, like, wheels back then? <laughs> sure they did, Tinker. My great-great-great-grandfather invented the wheel. Before that, everyone used clumps of dirt. How did anyone get anywhere? Very slowly. So, Mr. Elmer, the old days? The old days go back before your parents ever opened this truck stop, Chuck. Ah, those were good times. Yes, those were good times. I just wish that when I wasn't working, I hadn't just been lazy and sat around. That's how I wound up so rusty and slow, with pipes so clogged I can barely move. And a truck's no good if he can't even move. That's why I came to see you, Holly. Sure, Elmer. Come with me to the repair bay and we'll see what we can do. If you don't want to end up like me, take care of yourselves now, boys. I sure wish I had, but I was your age. Poor Elmer. Chuck, let's get back to our game, amigo. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, Chuck. This is the part of the game where we police cars ask the getaway car questions about where you hid the loot. Guys, I don't want to play games. What? What? I think we should exercise! But Chuck, if you think about it, with all the running and jumping we do, our games are... We don't want to get slow and weak and rusty with clogged pipes when we get older. We should spend all our time getting in the best shape we can. That sounds bueno. Let's do it. Does this mean getting dirty? It means we need to think of some exercises. We have to get stronger. And there's how we're going to start. This might be worth it. 
worse than petty, uh, dirty. One, one. Boy, I feel super strong now. One, one. Stop, Sai. I'm sweating wiper fluid. I smell like old carburetors, and I'm not having fun. I'm done with this exercise. Uh, yeah, maybe we should do something else for a while, Chuck. Good idea. Let's find a different exercise. That's not my idea of finding something different to do. I'll just watch. Well, we'll keep going. We feel better already. Right, guys? Yeah! Yeah! That's the spirit. Now I've got the perfect idea for our next exercise. Whoa. Boy, am I glad I decided not to do any more of Chuck's exercises. Gotta get to the... Top. Uh, I'm an old digger. Gotta keep up with Chuck. No hands allowed, huh? Come on, Handy. You can do it. This exercise really makes your engine hum. Doesn't it? And I guess I'll see you at the bottom of the hill. Whoa! I'm okay. Red hot turbochargers, we did it! Woohoo! Woo <laughs> Ooh. Hey, amigo. For our next exercise, maybe there's something flatter we could do? Hmm. I've got a perfect idea for how we can get some more exercise. Now this is more like it. I feel faster than ever. Yeah, exercise is amazing. When we get to be Mr. Elmer's age, we're going to be in great shape. Hey, Chuck, don't you want to take a break and go back to our game for a while? No way! I'm in a groove now. I'm going to keep moving, moving, moving. Staying in shape is what I'm looking to do. I want to feel great. out there racing with them, Soku? I wish we were playing police cars and getaway cars again. Come on, Digger. We've got a bunch of laps to go. <laughs> Can't run anymore right now. <laughs> well, I'm feeling better every second. I'm never going to stop. Like my big brother, Ralph, the world-famous racing truck always said, over, around, and through. Just go and see and do. And I'm gonna go, go, go! Yippee! Are we done exercising, Chuck? Can we do something else now? Sure, but only for a little bit. You guys really should exercise more. I feel fantastic. Well, getaway car, you won't feel so fantastic once we police cars catch you. And the way I'm revving right now, you'll never catch me. Caught you. That was easy. What's the matter, Chuck? Nothing. Just let me try again. I don't know what it is. Suddenly, I'm really tired. Maybe you exercise too much, Chuck. Maybe. I'm sorry, guys. I can't play anymore today. I never thought that would happen. Ooh, I think I better just turn around and go home. <sighs> Could uh, one of you guys maybe help turn me around? 
Well, Elmer, now that we got rid of all that gunk that built up while you've been sitting around and replaced your rusty parts, you should feel a little better. Thanks, Holly, I do. And I'm gonna stay feeling better by fueling up smarter and getting more exercise, like we talked about. Maybe you shouldn't get too much, Mr. Elmer. You could wind up like Chuck. Chuck, what happened, son? I was out exercising. I just didn't want to end up... <laughs> like me? Chuck, you and I both learned something important today. Too much of anything isn't good for you, whether it's sitting around <sighs> or exercising. Your body needs both rest and exercise, honey, but it needs a balance between them. And you get plenty of exercise running around with your pals playing your games. You're right, Mom. And it's more fun than the exercises I was doing. From now on, I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, where's Chuck? I'm ready to play. Hi, guys. I'm really sore today. Must have been all that exercise yesterday. Then it's gonna be easy for us to catch you today, Mr. Getaway Car. Yeah, unless you're too tired to play. I'm never going to be too tired to play ever again. Red Hot Turbochargers, I feel great. Let's burn rubber.